Hey, this is Gus and Ryan from Achievement Hunter. This is Gus. Okay, that's Gus. You're Ryan. I'm Ryan. And this is a This Is in World, World of, Tanks. of Tanks. Hey, yeah, it's uh, coming out for uh, some other platforms soon, but for right now, you can ch check it out on the PC. For free. For free. Yes. Uh, it's got another one of those microtransaction kind of supported titles, but uh, you can actually, I've played through it for a little while now. You get a lot of levels up very quickly for the in-game currency. Yeah. You don't really have to spend any money. Yeah, you get in-game and, uh, and in-game experience, and it allows you to unlock different tiers and different mm -hmm. classes of tanks as you go on. I've been playing this game for quite a while. I really, really yeah, I guess, like it, which is, I guess, maybe why you invited me here. We should say, but what what is World of Tanks? It's, uh, like you said, a free-to-play MMO that just has, I guess, relatively large-scale tank battles. So it's two teams either vying to capture each other's bases or destroy all the tanks on the enemy teams. And it's usually like a one-life setup, right? Right. So yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you, you, <laughs> once, you're, once you're eliminated, that's it. You're out. So it's very tactical. It's also got uh, tank classes. Mm -hmm. So it's it's sort of like your FPSs, but with tanks. It's, right. You've got, uh, what, like, there's like a sniper so, class. So there's different classes of tanks. Uh -huh. And then on top of that, there's different tiers of tanks. I believe they go from 1 to 10 tier-wise. And, of course, the higher the tier the better the tank and then i think the classes or the vehicles are like light medium heavy um tank, tank destroyer, destroyer and then uh the self-propelled gun that's it which is the gun. artillery yes uh and yeah i think i've played one of each the sniper class just has a you know much you can zoom in and has a uh, a much more powerful single shot your light tanks are good for scouting around and you know getting behind the enemy really quickly medium obviously is just for general duty and then mm -hmm. the heavies are the duty. slower duty the slower fighter uh, defender kind of types the, wh the way i play I, I really prefer the medium tanks because i feel like mm -hmm. it's a decent amount of firepower and speed uh it's not the fastest it's not the strongest but it's you know a good compromise between them uh, -huh. uh and then normally what i like to do is like I hide in the bushes so that's a, that's <laughs> another thing that's actually kind of interesting about this game is the way enemy detection works is you have a radio and you can upgrade all the parts in your tanks uh -huh. so you have a radio and the radio allows you, it has like a certain amount of power and a certain amount of distance. If y another player within your radio distance sees an enemy and they have a radio that can reach you, you know what your enemy, what your uh, ally uh -huh. sees. So it's like you have to kind of spread out your your allies, make a have, loose net, right? Have a network that way everyone can pass the information about uh -huh. uh, what enemies they see. And uh, and then uh, cover. What I was going to start to say initially was uh -huh. cover plays a big deal into it. So like you can take a tank, and if there's enough you know uh, leaves or trees around, uh -huh. you can kind of hide in them and don't move, and don't make any noise, and you wait for enemies to come by and shoot them in the back. <laughs> I guess that's a good thing to point out too. Is that there's uh, an upgrade tree for all of this stuff. There's yeah. a tech tree for both your tank and for the crew of your tank. Yes. Uh, which they can both level up and get things that'll add bonuses to your ability to camouflage and your you know speed shooting ability any of that kind of thing. Yeah, so I mean that's a big deal. Is you know it's not like uh, an FPS where you're just shooting off a ton of rounds. Mm -hmm. It's like you fire your cannon and then depending on your crew and your tank, you might have to wait four or five seconds before yeah. you can fire again. So it's like you really got to hope you you nail it. And there's traversal time on the turret, and then as you're moving, you're obviously you've got a wider s chance of hitting down to a narrow as you come to a complete stop. So. Uh, it's really interesting, really detailed. It's very pretty, too. Yeah. The, the graphics on it are pretty solid. Great-looking game. One of the things... Uh, so I, I want to go back to something else we mentioned earlier. Uh -huh. So you, we mentioned it's a one-life kind of thing. Uh, one of the things I do like is if you do die early on in the match, you can return to your garage, mm -hmm. and that tank that's dead in that match stays out of commission while that match is still going on, but you can play on one of your other tanks that you have in your garage. Right, yeah, you can just jump to... You keep a stable of, I think, I have 10, I think. There's yeah, a, you can keep purchasing more slots. I'm not sure what the cap is. But yeah. You can have several tanks and then continue to just play... You don't have to wait on them to finish. You still get credit for finishing the game. Right. It's not like you abandoned it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It's fine to just move on. However, if you've invested a lot in one tank, yeah, <laughs> you gotta kind of wait for it. I normally keep two or three just in case things aren't going well. Usually, they're not that long of a match, though. Nah. I mean, I think uh, most of the ones I've jumped into have a hard limit of like fifteen minutes. I yeah, think. and that that would be a really long game. If that, yeah, that's if the timer runs out. Yeah. Uh, usually, it's over well before that. Yeah, I'd say on average, I think in my experience, most games are like eight to nine minutes, maybe. Yeah. Somewhere yeah, around about that neighborhood. Right. Uh, there's a couple other game types, but I think it's all basically centered around that same kind of gameplay. Of I think the the different game types are essentially just how your team is split up, more exactly. so than or, actual. And if you're like partied up with friends, right? Yeah, yeah. But uh, it's 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 a lot of fun. Yep. Yeah, so that's uh, World of Tanks. You can download it now. Just go to the uh, World of Tanks dot com, uh, and uh, you can download and play it for free. For free. And it will be coming out to consoles later, like I said. But you can check it out now and see if you uh, want to play it when it gets there. Just learn all the maps that we have a leg up. Yeah. 
Uh, also, if you are you know like this kind of gameplay, but you're interested in a different kind of vehicle, they also have another game called World of Warplanes, yes. right? Mm-hmm. And you've played that a little bit. It's it's a very similar concept. You know, it's mm-hmm. just you know two teams of planes, um, and the same same kind of deal. Your plane has a tech tree. Uh, you really don't have a crew necessarily. I haven't played that one as much. I just started playing that one fairly recently, so I can't speak as in depth on it. But it's pretty fun too. All right, yeah. So check those out, and uh, we'll have a link in the description. Thanks.